Hey guys, what's up? Cole here with HangOutForum.us and today I'm giving you the Apple Keynote event overview. Now, this morning, for Pacific Time, Apple held its September Keynote event and they completely redid their iPod line. They added a new Apple TV and just so you know, iPod Classic is not dead. So, I'm just going to go over this real quick. The iPad will be getting iOS 4.2 in two months time. The iPhone and iPod Touch will be getting 4.1 next week. Uh, they did update their iPod Shuffle. You can see right here. We're loading the page. They completely redesigned it. They brought back buttons and they brought back a more squarish design. It now still has a clip on it. Now $49. It was like $80. So they've really, really brought down the price. And I believe it is still the same gigabytes. That's what I meant, not price point. So let's go over to tech specs. It has two gigabyte flash drive, so you can hold a lot of stuff on there. And it does have up to 15 hours of audio playback. So everything else is the same. They basically just redesigned the iPod Touch. Uh, I mean, the shuffle. <laughs> For the iPod Nano, they completely redesigned it. It used to be elongated. And now it is completely square, just like the iPod Shuffle. And they've put it at 8 gigabytes and 16 gigabytes. The 8 gigabyte is 149, and the 16 gigabyte is 179. Now they also added a product red iPod Nano, and they've completely redone this one. They made it square. They added a touch screen. It's pretty intense. Uh, let's just go into the tech specs. It has up to 24 hours of audio playback. It has earphones, dock connector volume button, sleep wake button, it has a belt clip and it's just super tiny. Here's the box of it. Uh, you can see all this stuff. It's pretty impressive. So now let's go to the big board, the iPod Touch. The iPod Touch was completely redesigned, added a front facing camera, a rear facing HD camera, and its price point is 8 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, and 64 gigabytes for 229, 299, and 399. Uh, you can see here the back is still shiny. I wish they had changed that to more, maybe a matte aluminum or something, or a plastic back. But uh, yeah, they did change the back. So let's look in tech specs. You can see that it does have the Retina display, the 960 by 640 pixel resolution. It has earphones it has 8 gigabytes 32 and 64 like I said it has 802.11 B G and N Wi-Fi uh, in the box it comes with iPod touch earphones dock connector general you can see basically they just made it more like the iPhone 4 just without the phone uh, I wish they hadn't done that I wish they would have kept the rear camera off it I mean as much as iPod touch users wanted that I really didn't want that because there needs to be some, there needs to be something that iPhone users have that iPod Touch users do not have, and that frustrates me that we don't have anything now. <laughs> the only thing we have is text messaging and phone. It's it's not enough. I wish that they had not given the iPod Touch a rear-facing camera, or if they had given it, they had not given it an HD rear-facing camera. But whatever, what's done is done iPod Classic, I believe, is the exact same thing. They didn't really do anything. They changed the pictures a little bit. But everything is still the same with the iPod Classic. And they completely redesigned their Apple TV. This new Apple TV is one-fourth the size of the old one, and it is one-third the price, about. <laughs> so it does not have a hard drive inside. It does not have flash memory. It, everything is streamed for this Apple TV. It has HD Movie and TV show rentals with uh, movies right out of the box office at $2.99 and older TV show rentals at $0.99 cents. and uh, you can stream music, videos, everything from your iPhone, iPad, and computer. So this is a great new Apple TV and I think Apple's really going to take over the HDR market with this new Apple TV. So these are the new iPods. Let's go back to the store here give you a little overview of them iPod Shuffle, $49, iPod Nano, $149, iPod Touch, $229, iPod Classic, $249, Apple TV, $99. So, I think it's a great lineup. I think it's really going to do well for Christmas, uh, this holiday season. 
I think it's just they've done really well with it and uh, I can't wait to see how the sales are next year it's only going up Apple stock has already gone up like 8% or 6, 7% since the keynote 5 minutes after the keynote peace out guys see you in the next video if you like my content subscribe to me on youtube youtube.com forward slash cold 45995 and if you want to follow me on twitter twitter.com forward slash cold 4595